Hi guys, I'm Darren and in this video I'll be showing how we can turn a momentary switch into a on-off toggle switch. So before we get started on this video, I just want to give a thank you to everyone who's supporting me on Patreon, especially to two new subscribers who have gone to the pilots level or above, and that is Itzik Ronan and Ruby S. Thank you very much guys, your support is most appreciated. Same with anyone else who is on Patreon or sends me a coffee it all goes to help this channel so thank you very much guys thanks to the guys on patreon and the coffee will have an iron Ave build series coming soon which that's contributed towards so thank you very much for for helping out guys i really really appreciate it but anyway back to the video so this video has come about from a question on another video on youtube basically i've used a momentary switch on the back to turn the ignition on or off on one of my petrol planes on that model, I had it a little bit more complicated. I have a throttle cut, so basically if I did the throttle cut on or press the button, it would turn the ignition off and only the button would turn the ignition on. Uh, but what I'm going to do now is show how to do this in quite a simple way. So let's head over to the desk and get started. Okay, so I've just got a basic demo plane model selected. You can obviously put this on whatever plane you want. And this is quite an easy operation. So what I'll do is I'll use this switch right here to demonstrate because it will be easier to show on the video, but it will work with the two switches behind as well. It just needs to be a momentary switch. Right, so let's go into our model menu and scroll across and we want logical switches. So at the moment I haven't got any set up, so hopefully this will not be confusing. So let's create a new logical switch and I'm just going to call this one toggle just as a nice easy name for the demo. And what we need to do is make this switch a sticky, which is pretty close to the bottom. All we really need to do, what a sticky switch does is when you have the on condition triggered, it turns the switch on. And then when the off position is triggered, it turns the switch off. So what we're going to do is select our on switch and we're going to use our momentary switch so hold the momentary switch in don't let go just hold it in for the time being and then press the uh, return button and what that will do is remember the switch in that position if you let go it will remember that switch but it will be backwards so when i hold the switch in you'll see the uh the switch indicator go bold to show that that is now active so that will turn our sticky on which is great and at the moment we don't have anything to turn it off. Well, we have something to turn it off, but it's the wrong switch. So if I put that up, we'll now have it turned off. So what we want to do is set the off trigger and we're gonna do exactly the same thing. So hold that switch in the uh, up position or hold in the momentary switch and then press the return button. So you can see now it is toggling on and off. And that is the basics of it working. What we can do, you can actually set this to use an edge and that will de only detect the first instance of that switch. So I did it quick there, but what I'll do is show you on the first one. So long press the enter button and go down to edge and turn it on and press return. You'll notice the little blue square in this corner. If that's there, you have more options if you long hold the enter button. So now we have the edge, we can hold this in as long as we want and it will only do it for that first instance. The same as you, if you use a, a normal t switch, it will only activate the, the, the first second you do that. So now we have our toggle switch. The next thing is what do we want to do to it? So if you're using it for an ignition, I would actually recommend after understanding how this part works, going to my other video, which I'll put a link to in the top corner, and that shows how you can have it set so the throttle cut works as well. Uh, but just to show this part working, let's head back into the mixer, because obviously we want to assign this to a channel. So what I'm gonna do is just create a new, uh, let's have a look to see what channels are used first. All right, so I'm gonna put it on channel six, so we'll create a new mix. This just needs to be a free mix. And let's stick it after rudder just to make life easier. 
So to get this working, all we need to do is assign the source to that logical switch that we've just created. So go down to the logical switch category. If you have more of them, you will need to select the switch, but we've only got the one, so that's all we can use. So that's why I'm going to just back out of it. So you can see on the chart here, but at the moment we're at minus 100. You can just about see the blue line. And when I flick the switch, it will go over to plus 100. So there we go. The, the switch is working. And of course, all we need to do to send that out over the radio is choose an output channel. So if I put that on channel six, then we can see that our channel six is outputting with the toggle switch. So there you go guys, I hope you found this video useful. Like I said, I'll put a link up in the top corner to that other video where I do set up the petrol plane, just in case you wanted to incorporate that for an ignition. But you can use this for a multitude of things. For example, turning LEDs on or off, putting gear up and down. Yeah, there's, there's a whole host of things you could do with this. It's just turning that holding momentary switch into a standard two-way switch. So thank you very much for watching, guys. See you on the next one. Fly models like you stole them.